Hi, this is Jason Fielder with the Daily Forex Report for August 3rd. Currently looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair. This particular pair created an inside bar today. Definitely look for a breakout. Overall, it's moving sideways with a bias sideways. We are looking for this pair to potentially move as high as 96.03, possibly as low as 93.89. Look for some resistance around 95.50 and look for some support around the 94.52 level. Now, switching over to the Euro USD pair, this particular pair has uh, broken above previous, uh, previous resistance going at the close on Friday, it closed above it, and then again uh, broke today, previous uh, resistance again. Definitely this pair is moving higher with a bias that is moving to the upside. Look for this pair to potentially move as high as 145.40, possibly as low as 141.17. Look for some resistance to be hit around 144. 50 and look for some support around 143.04 in this particular pair. Now let's take a look at the pound US dollar pair. This pair is moving higher as well. It broke through um, and closed above previous resistance uh, similar to the euro. Uh, this pair is moving higher with a bias to the upside. Look for this pair to potentially move as high as 17,000 hitting resistance there as well. Look for some support around 167.50. Now let's take a look at the US Swiss. This pair uh, today broke through and closed uh, below previous support. Uh, this pair could be moving lower with a bias uh, to the downside. Look for this pair to possibly move as low as 1.0805 possibly as low as 10486. This is as high and this is for the low. Uh, look for some resistance if the pairs to move higher around 1.0650 and look for some support around 10561 in this particular pair. Now we do have the Australian uh, Reserve Bank of Australia uh, releasing their rate decision tomorrow at 12.30 a.m. very early uh, during this next session. Um, we have the consensus is they're going to hold rates at 3%, um, which you know should continue the overall rise of the Australian dollar compared to all the other pairs. Now, look for the U.S. to release their personal consumption expenditure um, for June year to date at uh, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Consensus on that one is it has moved higher from 0.1% to 0.2%. Overall, this doesn't have a huge impact on the, on the U.S. dollar, but it's definitely worth noting nonetheless. Now, what am I looking for during this next session? Well, the, the, the fact that the pound has broken to the upside uh, so strong if you look at some of the previous let me zoom out a little bit more previous resistance points we are well above it closed well above it we had some resistance here we also had a previous resistance almost around the same level and if you take the very high uh, the highest high of the past goodness uh, roughly two months we have broken and closed above that so I can I can very easily see this pair moving higher um, and just continuing to look for it the next place that I would look for this pair and you got to zoom out a little bit further basically where it could hit possible some possible resistance if it's to continue continue higher would be possibly here or possibly even a little bit higher at this point. Let's go ahead and check and see what that what those prices actually are. Here we have uh, 1.7096, so right at 1.7100. Uh, 1 and then if we go a little bit higher, the next place that it should hit a little bit of resistance is around the 1.7450 mark. So 
somewhere in there we're going to hit some resistance if this pair is to continue higher so just make sure that you uh, if you're in a long trade with this one uh, as I am to to keep an eye on some of those levels as we approach them continue to move your stops up so that uh, so that you can move into profit well that about does it for today until next time this is Jason Fielder good trading